he gave us this place for tonight and uh, we're really excited uh, that God opened a uh, door for all of us to be here today tonight I want to welcome all of you guys and our online audience welcome it's so good to be the home of God God's home tonight and to join every prayer tonight God is faithful I want to read this portion from Psalm 27 verse 7 hear me as I pray O Lord be merciful and answer me my heart has heard you say come and talk with me and my heart responds Lord I am coming I'm gonna read it again it's a beautiful and powerful verse. It's an invitation. God is inviting us tonight to connect with his heart. Hear me as I pray, O oh Lord. Be merciful and answer me. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Are you coming today? Are you coming tonight? Are you going to respond to God's invitation of coming to Him? I hope you can. And this invitation is open for all of us. We're going to pray right now. Lord Jesus, thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are an amazing God, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that... You are so mighty and powerful. And we are so grateful, Lord, to protect my husband today and to protect the whole team, Lord, in North Carolina, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that your protection was over them, Lord. And no one was um, hurt, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord, that you are a powerful God, Lord Jesus, that we can run to you, Lord Jesus, and we can trust in you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to respond to that invitation, Lord, to you tonight, Lord. We want to talk to you, Lord Jesus. We want to run to you, to your arms. I pray, Lord Jesus, that um, whoever is listening at this service tonight, Lord, they will feel your presence too. And I pray for those who are here tonight, Lord. Every person that is here at this place, Lord. Even those who are helping, Lord, in the process, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus, that we will respond to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, Lord. Thank you for every heart, Lord. Thank you for those, Lord, that are... Um, feeling far from you, Lord, for those who are sick, Lord, for those, Lord Jesus, who are um, facing difficult situations tonight, Lord. We want to ask you, Lord Jesus, to move in a beautiful way tonight, Lord. Help us and lead us as we sing to you, Lord, as we worship you, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Lord, that we will touch your heart, Lord, that we will sing to you with everything we have. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are so worthy to be praised. And we praise you, Lord, tonight with everything we have. Because we know, Lord Jesus, that you are a God who hears our prayers, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you listen. Thank you that you see our hearts, that you see our pain, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We adore you.
We want to touch your heart tonight. We want to give you all. Even if it means our lives, Lord, today, I was asked that question. Are you ready to give your life for Jesus? And my heart's response was yes.
from Ephesians 6 18 and this is the power when we pray together as a church and how beautiful it is that um, my husband sent this prayer request today uh, to the whole church and let me tell you what I felt when he sent that I I was moved so much in my heart was breaking because, um, I don't know, I think that life is so beautiful that sometimes we can lose our lives in a moment. But um, I was trembling in that moment when that happened and he sent that prayer request that you know at the same time. I was so grateful for his life and I had the confidence to call on the Lord and to know that He hears. And I want to read this Bible verse and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen. That's powerful. And many of you, and I believe uh, you guys were praying for my husband and for his team. And I believe God moved in, in a powerful way. I was praying with my family, with Juanito, with Emily, uh, Danny, Manuela. We were moved and we asked the Lord, Lord Jesus, protect my husband. And, keep him safe. Thank God he was protected. Thank you everybody for praying for him. It's beautiful. Let me tell you it's powerful when we pray together. When we come in one together. I also ask the church in Colombia to, to pray for him and I know they pray for him. So thank you everybody. And um, I just want to share some prayer requests. And I want you all to participate with the prayer request. The first prayer request is for our Easter outreach. Pray for those who have or will receive invitations that they will respond to the Lord's kindness and find freedom. And I'm going to ask Eva if you please can pray for this prayer request. Um, Pray against any retaliation from the enemy. So 
We're going to pray for this Easter outreach and that people will receive invitations and they, that they will respond to the Lord's kindness and find, find freedom. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for bringing us together to be able to pray. Um, pray for each other and for our community, Lord. And I just, um, for the hearts of those people that are not saved, Lord, I just pray that as they receive each invitation from each person that hands it out, Lord, that you guide where we should go and who we should invite. Um, and that we listen to your spirit, Lord, so that they can be, they can hear the gospel, Lord, and be saved. And I just pray that they will consider coming to our Easter celebration. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Eva. And, uh, as I was saying, we praise God for dismantling the situation in North Carolina without further harm. We thank God for protecting the lives of people. And um, I want to ask Juanito uh, for this special prayer request. We're going to pray for the attacker, the guy who was shooting, that he will be found and held account accountable for his girlfriend who bore the uh, brunt of his actions, that as he would heal from the trauma physically and emotionally for the pastor's spouse who was held up in a uh, room, that she will be delivered from all fear. Also that the tour will advance and many lives will be rescued by Jesus. So Juanito, thank you. Let's, can you please come and help us pray? Um, okay. Uh, dear Lord, I pray for the man who was doing the shooting or was attempting to shoot somebody. I pray for um, his girlfriend that she'll heal from trauma or anything and for the spouse of one of the pastors there that she'll be delivered from fear and that you can give her um, your, like, everything, your love, your peace, so she won't be afraid, and that the outreach will save lots of people, and that the man uh, who caused, well, who, who was attempting to shoot somebody will be found and held responsible for his actions. Amen. We also want to pray for, um, many of you know John's uh, Varner, the, the pastor from Central Congregational Church. I want to pray for, the, um, for his wife as she is recovering or she's facing a um, uh, cough and she's not feeling well, so we're going to pray for her recovery. So let's, let's right now to, let's pray for her life. Lord Jesus, thank you so much, Lord, for Joanne, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that uh, you know where she is right now, Lord. And you know, Jesus, um, her physical situation, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that miraculously, Lord, you touch her body, Lord, and bring healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we believe in you, Lord, in the power that you have to give us healing. Lord, I want to um, take this opportunity, Lord, to pray for people, Lord, who are here in this place, Lord. People who are listening right now as they're joining the press, prayer request, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will bring healing, Lord, for those who are facing difficult um, sickness, Lord. I pray touch everybody, Lord. Touch every situation, Lord. Even, Lord Jesus, those who are affected emotionally, Lord, with pain, depression, Lord, um, whatever is happening, Lord Jesus. Maybe those who are facing um, very uh, dangerous sickness, Lord, I pray for healing, Lord. 
I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you will raise our faith to believe, Lord. We trust in you, Lord Jesus. We know that you paid for our sins. You paid for our sickness when you went to the cross, Lord Jesus. So we trust you, Lord. We believe in you, Lord. And we give you thanks, Lord, that you have done it, Lord. You are touching our bodies, Lord. And we trust you. And we believe in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are able to heal. You are able, Lord Jesus, to do whatever, Lord Jesus, we need, Lord. There's nothing impossible for you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the healing you give us, Lord, in your beautiful name. Thank you, Lord. We also, for those of you who were last Sunday at our um, service last Sunday, we had Sandro and Alex with us. What a beautiful time we had with them. It was so beautiful to see them. And I want to ask you, please, to pray for their family as they await the arrival of the baby girl, for the children staying with their grandmother, and for the church at Ervoi as they are away. So I'm gonna ask Manuela if you can help us to pray for this petition, Manuela, for uh, Sandro and Alex family, for the coming of the baby girl, um, for the other children that um, stayed with their grandmother, and for the church in, in Haiti at Elvoy as they are away. So. Thank you for Sandro and Alex. I thank you for uh, the sacrifice that they have given to just give their whole lives, to dedicate their lives to uh, Haiti. I thank you that you're using them in such a great way, and I pray that you will uh, protect them from any danger when they go back. I pray that um, the delivery for Alex's baby will be so smooth that it will be angelic. You will just have your angels around both of them and around their baby girl. I thank you for their, for their family, for the little girls. I pray that you will just work every detail out, um, that you will be with them every step of the way, and that when they go back, um, that you will just still have your angels around them, that uh, no trouble will come their way, and that the church in Haiti will uh, keep on growing and just keep every um, just keep danger away from their church, from the orphanage, from the school, and bless them, Lord. Bless their family. Bless their household. Amen. Amen. So want to welcome everyone here tonight and I'm glad you came out. If you're not sure where we are, please come and find us at 132 Titus Ave. We're here at Mount Zion School. The staff are very um, grateful to allow us to come. Uh, the community center uh, didn't have room for us tonight and we had been working to, to find a place and uh, we were able to get this today. So we had been working hard and this is a place God put us and we're grateful for it. Amen? Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. So next week you will find us at the community center in our regular room in room four, but we will be having a separate location once a month um, for the next few months, they they do have one week. The first week of the month is usually full, so um, we will be at a different location a, a month from today. But we'll let you know ahead of time where that's going to be. And I would like to share a few announcements with you before we watch 
uh, a very special film together. So it's, does anyone here have any leftover Easter invitations? No, did you give them all out? East, okay, Eva does. Okay, you have a few? Okay, super. That's okay, you can keep that. I was just wondering how many you had left. We do have another 3,000 on order and they will be here by, by Friday, I believe. So on Saturday at 11 o'clock, you can join us again at the community center. We'll be gathering there, getting our resources, our supplies, and then um, doing some more work in our zones. It's really good work what we're doing. Um, so thank you for being a part of it. It's so special. I've met a lot of wonderful people and God is working. He is working. For those for those of you who are a member of LifeWay, uh, our lead meeting is this Friday at 7 o'clock. And we do we will be at the community center, so find us there. You can come a little early for fellowship at 6.30, and we'll take our time to connect and, and grow together as a family of God. And uh, I would like to, we're going to wrap up our time here so that we can watch a very special film together. We're going to project on the screen for you. Dalton's going to help me with that. Uh, it, the movie is called The God Who Speaks, and we would like to um, give you the link for those watching online so you can go to it right on your computer or on your cell phone. You can go to either thegodwhospeaks.org, all uh, without any spaces in it, and that's the AFA website, and you can actually... Um, make a donation or encourage them in their work spreading this word and let me tell you a little bit about the the film we're going to watch it was inspired to be created because of the war raging around us in our society in in our churches in our homes and um, they they explain it like this, it's not a battle over marriage or race or sexual revolution, but it's a battle for the truth. That is the battle that we are in today. For instance, many people even wonder if God is real. And if he is, does he speak? And if he does speak, how would we know what he, when he's speaking? Um, this, the AFA understand that while many churches are faithfully proclaiming truth, others have lost confidence in the, the Bible's authorship, its divine authorship. And so that's what they're going to address in this uh, film. There's wonderful Bible teachers uh, that we'll hear from R.C. Sproul, Alistair Begg. It's very well done. It was made in 2018. And uh, it's still quite relevant today, uh, even more so, I would say. So you can either go to thegodwhospeaks.org and sign up, and they'll uh, give you access to the video. Or uh, you can just in your search bar enter uh, these words, the God who speaks, and then in parentheses, 2018. Put that in your search bar and then some videos should show up. You can select the YouTube video that is one hour and 30 minutes long and you can watch it that way. Uh, Dalton put it for you in the live chat box as well. And so we're going to wrap up our time here by thanking the Lord. Wrap it up with you. We're going to watch it on the screen behind me. And if, if you want to come and watch it with us, please do. We'll be here. Um, and would you let us know what you think about the film after watching it? Send us a text, send us an email, and, and let us know how it moved you. And so what their goal is, is to challenge believers to actually live like we believe the truth. It's one thing to know it, and it's another thing to live it. So we're going to be challenged and encouraged to live it. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's thank the Lord. Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done today. Uh, you take circumstances that can become so tragic and you insert yourself and you, you 
bring order. You bring strength. You bring unity. You bring peace. No matter what we go through, we can endure because we have you. And we are so grateful to have you with us tonight. Would you encourage us as we watch this film, those online, those here in, the, in this room, and challenge us, Lord, to live out the truth of who you say you are and to awaken, would you awaken awe and wonder again for the divine nature of the words that we read every day. They're not just words, it's not just a book, it's not just a bestseller, but it is a divinely inspired, a divinely written book with power, power of life there. Lord, we ask you, awaken us, every one of us, smallest to the oldest, awaken us, Lord, so we can live out your truth and proclaim the truth and encourage others to come and live by the truth as well. We pray this together in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm almost forgetting something before we go there. Don't leave yet. Uh, Pastor Juan sent a greeting, so I'm going to show that to you before, uh, and I'll say goodbye before we end. Amen. Let's watch. Hello, church. God bless you. Thank you so much for praying for us. Uh, everybody safe. We were uh, moved to the Billy Graham headquarters right here, which is such a blessing for me because I've never been here before. And uh, this is like holy ground. It's incredible to, to sense that uh, Billy Graham worked here and so many people have come through these doors to to learn about the ministry and they've gotten saved. It's just beautiful and incredible. But thank you for your prayers. Uh, we're very uh, excited about this tour and uh, we're just believing God that many people will come to know Jesus. And church, I just want to tell you, I am so proud of you for the work you've been doing of delivering the Bibles to Derry. Uh, this is how it is. This is how it gets done. Um, let's continue to do this work Jesus sent his disciples in the same way um, to preach the good news in every town. And, and he said, if, if somebody rejects you, just don't worry. Uh, take the blessing back with you. Shake off the dust from your feet. Love them. But we keep moving forward. Don't get distracted or discouraged. This is an amazing work that we're doing. And I, I'm thankful for you. I'm proud of you. I'm telling you, not a lot of churches do, are doing this. And you're taking your streets, you're taking your zone, and you're doing the work. Please pray for every person living in your zone, okay? Take some time during our prayer meeting um, later today and, and lift every zone in prayer. In Jesus' name, okay? I love you. Um, I'll see you soon. I'll be flying in by 10 p.m. tonight. God bless you. And my love to all of you, to your children. Uh, I, I miss you already. And I'm thankful for your prayers. Everybody's safe. I was able to share with several people at the hotel when the shooter came after the whole thing happened uh, and encouraged a few people there point them to Jesus Christ. I'm going to see if I can go back there before I go to the airport. Drop some Bibles there for everybody on the staff. I love you all. We'll see you soon. Blessings. Hey, mate. So I'm so glad I got to share that with you. And uh, if you haven't signed up for a zone yet, we have 33 zones throughout Derry that we are um, giving out invitations and gospels to. It's not too late. Join us on Saturday at 11 and we'll, we'll be sure to give you a zone or pair you in with someone else's zone. And uh, if you don't have any invitations left, hold off on going door to door until you get more supplies but keep those bibles with you and wherever you go um, let the lord lead you and encourage someone people find it interesting that you're about to hand them something that looks like money so god bless you thank you for joining us we're gonna watch the movie good night